Hello, hello, good morning, good afternoon. Whenever it is that you watch this video, this is Talk to Magic, where you can talk to magic. I'm magic, and it's actually my stage name. It's a nickname, um, but you can call me magic. Um, and today I kind of wanted to talk about self-love and the realities of self-love. You know, what self-love really looks like, um, because I feel like I see a lot of people doing things that are actually somewhat self-destructive and they're calling it self-love. And the thing is, um, if you're doing things that make you feel good, but it is destroying you, that is not self-love. Um, love really is, it's positive. Um, it, it really does move in just one direction. You know, there's love is love is um love is good love is goodness love is the goodness of life um and so is kindness kindness but kindness is kind of tied to love so when you think about love it's kind of like it goes farther than what you could even fathom um because it has to do with the wholeness of life right it has to do with all of life like if you truly love yourself the love will extend to all of life whether if that's the environment whether if that's animals whether if that's other people or your living space your family you know everything and um i'd have to say you know how you test what love really is is you kind of have to um look at it in different situations or or test it i should have said there are different ways to find out if something is love and it is to test it you know, is it, um, what I mean by that is, does it help you or hurt you? You know what I mean? Um, is what you're doing helping or hurting you? For example, somebody who maybe be struggling with their, their weight, you know, maybe overeating or something, you know, I've seen a lot of this, right? <clears throat> Where, you know, a lot of people online, you know, they say they love themselves and, they don't care if they're, you know, overweight or X, Y, and Z, that they love themselves and they'll continue to eat X, Y, and Z. And it's just kind of like accepting yourself and loving yourself are two different things. Accepting yourself is a part of loving yourself, but it is not loving yourself in full. Okay. Now, I don't think anybody should necessarily talk down to themselves or feel badly about themselves but i do feel like people really do <clears throat> need to review their behaviors review how their habits are influencing their lives whether if it's positive or negative right um you know it's kind of like after eating x y and z how do you feel physically and then after how do you feel physically how does it actually affect your body um and how does the effect on your body make you feel okay because it kind of is um you know a cycle you know anything you do to your body will it, it'll cycle it'll come back around you know you do things emotionally that affect you physically that affect you emotionally you know what i mean um so it's like really loving yourself will make you review cycles so that you can actually replace it with something better you know this this is love this is like helping yourself you know love is also <clears throat> doing what needs to be done to you know make positive changes you know it can be very difficult at times and sometimes you know let's say somebody who's trying to maybe get in shape or lose weight or you know become more educated or something you know, the discipline that is tied to self-love doesn't always feel good, right? Sometimes it feels like by doing these things, you don't love yourself, right? By by withholding eating your favorite treats or kind of going um, negative in your calories, right? It kind of makes you feel like, you know, it might feel painful at first. It might feel uncomfortable because your body is used to eating way more than it should or more than you're trying to at this point and um it can feel like you're you're 
punishing yourself and it's like it really is not punishment it's it really also depends on where you're coming from mentally self-love is also how you speak to yourself um majority of self-love is how you speak to yourself um because everything kind of comes from the mind right everything starts off up here and it's kind of like if you're saying good things to yourself more than likely you'll be feeling good things right and you'll be thinking things that will actually help you do better for yourself i feel like a lot of people start the beginning process of loving themselves by accepting themselves and then they just kind of stop there you know they don't actually want to love themselves they don't actually you know and loving yourself takes strength okay i'm not going to lie it, it is a challenge to love yourself at times because especially if you've gotten into habits that you're not necessarily proud of um you know you might speak negatively to yourself and it kind of will catapult you into this cycle where you just kind of keep going lower and lower and um you know you get to a point where you just totally give up you know and it, it can feel like there's no hope you know what i'm saying and it really all comes down to how you speak to yourself and and how you speak to yourself and this is the thing love um love actual love the action of love goes beyond feelings which are temporary right and um <clears throat> you know you kind of come to a point where it's like you really get tired of not getting anywhere you know what i mean it, eventually it'll happen you know depending on where you are in life you will eventually get to a point whether whether if you get to this point over and over and over again where you're just so tired of not loving yourself so tired of not helping yourself um you know it's kind of like how many times do you want to reach that point where you actually say okay i need to really discipline myself it all comes down to discipline and your ability to say no to temporary gratification um you know it can be very discouraging when you don't see the outcome that you hope for right away right and a lot of the time i'm telling you like especially if you're you know somewhat of an impa impatient person it can kind of feel like you're you're spinning your wheels and, and you're trying to go so fast and you're like not getting anywhere the thing is you might be putting pressure on reality that there there's no way for anything to come of it yet you know a lot of a lot of the time you know our mind works a lot faster than reality you know we can go from thought to thought idea idea but reality is kind of just at this place where it's kind of like it takes action it takes you know planting seeds it takes pushing it takes effort it takes organization it takes tools okay um sorry had to had to get up because my coffee was uh reheating and started to boil anyways so yeah um i'm going to make a part two please do watch part two um this is the realities of self-love um you know leave a comment below subscribe let me know if you <clears throat> if you kind of resonate with this if this is stuff that you've also been learning you know um let me know also send me a donation maybe if you feel like this advice has helped you i know i don't have too much content on this channel yet but eventually i'll get to the point where i feel like i have enough insight here where i can actually help people you know i feel like i've learned a lot in life and i really do want to help people on their journey so i'll see you in the next one